friends namaste welcome to dr varsha gaitondi's channel in this video i'm going to talk about dust testing dust is generally known as n dust testing that is novelty distinctness uniformity and stability this is a test basically done for varietal protection that means varietal protection is a, an idea or it is a Uh, process which comes under the upo uh, treaty or upo convention as well as the ppvfr act why it is protected any variety variety is protected because it gives name fame and many more things like protection means other researchers cannot misuse it that means the person who is having that protection may get certain benefits so there are certain national and international institutes which are working under intellectual property rights remember that the protection comes under intellectual property that is breeders rights or researcher rights these rights whatever it may be like breeder right researcher right farmers rights as well as any organizational rights to protect any variety these all comes under the uh, intellectual property rights so let us talk about the national and international instruments for interfering under intellectual property the first is uh, national institute that is ppv fr that is not institute that is a organization okay ppv fr that is the plant variety protection and farmers right act this came into force in 2003 but passed in parliament on august 9 2001 plant variety protection and farmers right act is a sui generis system an attempt by the indian government to recognize and protect the rights of both commercial plant breeders and farmers in respect of their contribution made in conserving and making available the pgr for the development of new plant variety the basic aim of the act is to provide for the establishment of an effective system for protection of any variety the rights of farmers breeders and to encourage the development of new varieties of plants let's talk about some of the international instruments interfering under intellectual property the first and foremost is trips that is trade related intellectual property rights for this protection and enforcement of of uh, enforcement of intellectual property rights in order to reduce distortion and impeditions to international trade upo is a convention which is to provide and promote the effective system of plant variety protection with the aim to encourage the development of new varieties of plants for the benefit of society the upo convention specifies scope of plant breeders rights the act that requires the breeders authorization the act that do not require the breeders authorization and conditions of grant along with duration of grant certain protocols used to come in that nagoya protocol or convention on biological diversity comes this convention the uh, sustainable it, this emphasis on the sustainable use of its elements and benefit sharing for the advantages flowing from exploration of these genetic resources another one is itpgrfa that is international treaty on plant genetic resource for food and agriculture the convention on and uh, sustainable use of plant genetic resource for food and agriculture and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising out of their use for sustainable agriculture and food security is the main matter of this instrument we'll talk about the upo membership of india as you know upo is union of protection on plant varieties india is not a permanent member of this treaty india is just an observer so 
whenever we talk about the ppv fr guidelines we have separate guidelines apart from the inculcation of upo guidelines so india is an independent country which can inculcate its own rules for the protection of any plant varieties so to give you some information about upo it has 72 members and india has observer status the article 27.3b talks about member country to provide protection either by a patent or pseudogenesis system or in combination with breeder to the breeder's right then farmers to farmers rights then researchers researchers to researcher rights this is about ppv fr act 2001 let's talk about the conditions for plant protection any variety to bring under protection or any germ plasm or anything hybrid new whichever is new for protection three conditions are very much important that is variety should be registered variety should be new and it may be essentially derived variety registered means about registration we will talk in the next slide new means there should be novelty that means variety should not be uh, in commercial cultivation or it should not be registered during the last one year period means it should not be used for commercial cultivation and the third is essentially derived variety essentially derived variety is the variety which is derived from already developed or well established variety or in red lines here you can see in the picture there are two varieties which is variety a and b which are already in the market so by using those varieties a breeder what he will do he will take those varieties he will improve certain character or he will work with certain character and manipulate by any of the kind of breeding technique and variety c is developed and commercialized for developing this variety if breeder wants any recognition that comes under the essentially derived variety condition let us talk about the procedure for varietal registration the first step i told you of uh, three steps for any varietal protection the first was registration then variety should be new and the third condition is the variety may be essentially derived variety sorry these are not steps these are the conditions for protection so the first step we shall discuss now that is procedure for varietal registration for this submission of the application to registrar in the prescribed forma pro forma that means registrar of the ppv fr okay deposition of seed to national gene bank for conducting does test advertisement application to call for any opposition issue of certificate of registration then publication of list of registered variety breeder to deposit the seed or propagating material of the registered variety to the national gene bank this is for further multiplication and uh, just to keep it for the for, uh, if any breeder or researcher wants that material to provide on demand that material is kept or if any vulnerability or de, or uh, varietal wipeout takes place that protected or the material kept under national gene bank will help the researchers to access to that particular variety next is registration to confer rights to plant breeders rights so we shall see it diagrammatically in this diagram it is just like a gist and in the next diagram we shall see it in an elaborative way first what should we do we should go and collect the application form technical question here will be there where we should answer a yes or no or there will be multiple choice type uh, answers uh, or options where we should tick it then application fees should be filled for ppv uh, filled for registration to pppfr authority examination of the application this uh, should, this is done by the authority then acceptance after validation of information from database that means they'll 
see that whether that information is different from the already existing database or the same if same it will be rejected then that uh, varietal information should be published in plant varietal journal before this uh, the researcher has to give certain name to that particular variety whomever is going for the registration process then invitation of objections within 90 days if objections are not there it can call it as extent variety or new variety if it found new submit the prescribed test fees then conduct the test test for one year two locations or for two years at two locations then if found novel distinct uniform and stable it can be registered the previous slide was just a gist now we shall see the elaborative procedure which is available in ppvfr website you can uh, even download this first reception at reception what will happen to receive application and allot pvp number coupon to be issued to applicant only completed applications with all enclosures registration fee which is non-refundable with the requisite quantity of seeds in officially sealed packing will be accepted vegetatively propagated planting material has to be submitted to respective crop specific dust centers as per details available on website within 10 days of submitting the application with an exception in case of perennial crops as listed on the website where testing will be on site and no propagating material to be enclosed a separate list is provided there if you are interested in perennial varieties you can refer it next is pvp application number pvp is nothing but plant variety protection okay in this step updating the records pvp application number and printing of acknowledgement give the authority will give the acknowledgement for the receipt of application form and then for application received through post or co courier acknowledgement shall be posted latest by next working day by dispatch section and uh, for the application received by hand at headquarters or branch offices before noon acknowledgement can be allotted between five to 5 30 pm in exchange of coupon or for application received in afternoon acknowledgement will be received next day morning between 10 to 10 30 am after acknowledgement application transfer to concerned registrar then examination of the application here queries raised by registrar to be issued within seven days to the applicant for compliance within 15 days within next seven days the registrar shall examine the re reply and acceptable ask for depositing dust testing fee if fee not received in 15 days application with seed shall be returned to the applicant next step is allotment of registration number if the application is accepted the registration number of the variety shall be informed to the applicant and published in uh, pvi that is one journal which is related to this particular authority registration number shall be the reference number of the variety then dispatch the seed to the center register to dispatch the seeds in case of vegetatively propagated plant material specific instructions are followed to concerned dust center at least 15 days before the sowing season with the instructions on reference variety or based on database next is dust testing means conducting the test dust centers will test the candidate variety as per dust testing guidelines so you need to remember that for every crop dust testing centers are different and these are located in different locations across the countries 
if the end of first season it is noted that the essential trait is in expressing significant distinctness between the locations then registrar or nominee along with the respective of uh, representative of the applicant has to visit the sites for consensus decisions during the second season that means different reasons results should not be obtained on different locations dust testing for essentially derived varieties here what will happen the testing of essential derived variety may be a hybrid or variety dust characterization is done along with original hybrid or variety that is initial hybrid or variety and in case of hybrid essentially derived variety essentially derived parent and original parent for one year at two locations are tested next step is data analysis after dust testing tabulation and certified pooled data from the centers will be submitted to the registry by the pi that is a program in charge within four months after harvest registrars to take final decisions within next 15 working days on the candidate variety pre-grant opposition published in PVJ that is plant varietal journals for uh, inviting pre-grant opposition if no pre-grant opposition received within stipulated time as per section 1 21 bar 2 checklist will be prepared by registry within two weeks and registration certificate will be issued to the applicant this is this ends with the whole procedure then there are certain guidelines for essentially derived varietal registration which comes under the section 23rd of ppv fr act 2001 and rule 35 of ppv fr rule 2003 coming to the we shall see some of the parts of registration process requisites for filling the application form for registration of variety for this denomination assigned to such variety that means we should give some uh, symbol or certain name to that variety accompanied by affidavit that variety doesn't contain gene or gene sequence involving terminator technology here in any varietal registration terminator and te traitor technologies are purely prohibited complete passport data of parental lines with its uh, geographical location in india and all such information relating to the contribution if any farmer village community institution or organization etc in breeding involving or developing the variety to submit any applications the guidelines involve each application should be accompanied with application charge of 200 rupees each by demand draft drawn in favor of the registrar plant varietal registry new delhi or registrar new delhi after submission of application will be processed according to the provision rule 29 bar 2 of uh, ppvfr rules 2003 after depositing the stipulated fees for conducting dust test the office of the registrar shall issue receipt and number which shall be used for all future references including the checking of the status of application online that means whatever is going on uh, during the entire varietal registration process a breeder or any person who is interested in register registration can sit back in home and he can observe it whenever the application has to be submitted it should be in triplicate means three copies must be written and signed 
prescribed regulations and working rules laid down by PPVFR authority that means general guidelines and specific guidelines should be read before submitting the application developed individually for each species that means for individual species for example for rice maize and all different guidelines are there in the further slides we can see uh, those particular characters Mm, layout of the dust test like plot size design as determined by nature of crop species to be examined then characteristics and nature of observations to be made on plant plant parts or seeds now we shall talk about the actual thing that is uh, why or how the protection of plant varieties is done for this the breeder sh right shall be granted where the variety is new distinct uniform and stable that is nothing but the dust test by undertaking the grant of protection shall not subject to any further conditions provided that the applicant complies with all the inform uh, formalities and pays shall pay the required fees dust test is based mainly on growing test we shall see some of the points about dust testing the test is all about the varietal protection can only be granted in respect of the new plant variety after examining for upo convention acts laid down criteria that is novelty distinctness uniformity and stability why it is conducted it is the essential requirement for registration of new variety under ppvfr act 2001 variety by examined for compliances with the distinctness uniformity stability criteria needed for registration how the test is done the test involves comparison of new variety against existing varieties for recording a number of morphological or physiological characters by growing new and existing varieties side by side for this we need a candidate variety and a pool of already existing varieties for distinctness uniformity and stability clearly there should be at least one essential character which gives distinctness of the variety of common knowledge in india and outside the essential character is a heritable trait which is determined by one or more genes or under other heritable determinants that contribute to the principal features performance of or values of the plant variety now there are certain points about the dust testing duration of the protection under uh, plant varietal testing is 15 years for field crops and 18 for trees vines and all uh, that we will talk then for extent varieties 15 years from the date of notification of the variety by the central government under the seeds act 1966 validity of uh, this protection is valid only in the country where it has been registered protection in other countries can be obtained by filling separate application in each country that means if you want to register a or protect a particular variety in india you should uh, apply to indian government only the protection by indian government doesn't mean that it is protected worldwide matters covered under the protection right that can be granted for variety of all botanical genera and species the variety should have a de designation as per the rules of international courts of uh, nomenclature the authority should uh, shall change charge separate fees for conducting dust test and uh, special tests on each variety why i am talking about this sentence because apart from dust test there are certain other tests also special test shall be conducted only when dust testing failed to establish the required requirement of distinctness that means when distinctness criteria is not met then special tests are conducted special tests are conducted under laboratory conditions normally remember that dust test is always conducted and observed under 
field conditions all the records are taken under field conditions only in two locations either in the same year or separate years the fees for dust and special testing shall be such as provided in column 3 of the second schedule for the purpose. Dust can be conducted at minimum two locations. The authority may recognize and empanel institutions having adequate facilities for conducting the country, this test across the country. Authority shall notify the adequate methods of conducting the dust and special tests. Coming to the guidance for dust examination. For this, best practices should be followed like good decisions, good definition of the objects of protection, that is means strong protection, then efficacy in method of examination, that means a person who is conducting best test should be well qualified for specific crop species. Harmonization, for this efficiency is very required mutual acceptance of dust reports that is uh, to minimize the cost of examination for individual authorities then mutual recognition of varietal descriptions that is all parties speak the same language means one should not talk something else from the other testing agency or other testing person simple and cheap system for applicant that will minimize the cost for breeders Coming to the requirements for dust testing, There are essentially three things need to be concentrated. The first thing is planting material, then staff, then facilities. Planting material may be candidate variety and reference collection as I have told you. Candidate variety means the variety which we are interested to protect. That means the variety for which we applied a registration form that is nothing but a candidate variety and reference collection is all the varieties which can be compared to claim the candidate variety as new and distinct those varieties or that collection can be referred as reference collection staff scientific technical secretarial and field staffs are required with well qualification and experience facilities like land and garden land for uh, field crops gardens for uh, or orchids uh, orchards gardens for flowering plants or uh, biennial plants and uh, orchards for trees we need to have a dust testing guidelines that means different organizations working on different uh, plant species or different crops they have designed and made a ready-made guideline for different crops so whenever if we are talking about or if we are working with the one variety of rice means we should have the rice guidelines which are provided by a national institute of rice research or uh, um, rice research institute hyderabad like that or uh, nrri katak then dust testing centers should be known to a particular person laboratory with equipments then uh, RH, rhs color chart database of extent or notified varieties that is available in norway and uh, indus databases then we need software for database analysis the softwares may be oops plot plan analyst 3.1 or dust stand for the conditions of protection certain articles are relevant for novelty article 15.3 a that is variety was not sold out before one year of registration 
दिस आर्टिकल नंबर आर वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट मे ऑल्सो बी आस्कड इन मेनी ऑफ यूर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स डिस्टिंक्टनेस कम्स अंडर आर्टिकल फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री बी दैट इज एटलीस्ट वन एसेंशियल कैरेक्टर शुड बी डिस्टिंक्ट इन द न्यू वेराइटी यूनिफॉर्मिटी विच इज टेकन और प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन आर्टिकल फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री सी टॉक्स दैट सफिशियंटली यूनिफॉर्मिटी मस्ट बी अवेलेबल फॉर ए न्यू वेराइटी स्टेबिलिटी कम्स अंडर आर्टिकल फिफ्टीन पॉइंट थ्री डी नॉट ससेप्टिबल टू चेंज आफ्टर रिपीटेड प्रोपगेशन दैट इज नथिंग बट स्टेबिलिटी सो वी शेल टॉक वन बाय वन कैरेक्टर द फर्स्ट थिंग इज नॉवेल्टी नॉवेल्टी मीन्स न्यूनेस द वेराइटी शुड बी न्यू न्यू मीन्स द कैरेक्टर एटलीस्ट वन टू और थ्री और मेनी शुड बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ऑलरेडी एक्सिस्टिंग वेराइटीज द सेकेंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक इज डिस्टिंक्ट इन डिस्टिंक्टनेस वेराइटी शैल बी डीम्ड टू बी डिस्टिंक्ट इफ इट इज क्लियरली डिस्टिंगशेबल फ्रॉम एनी अदर वेराइटीज हुज एक्सिस्टेंस इज अ मैटर ऑफ कॉमन नॉलेज एट द टाइम ऑफ फिलिंग ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन distinctness is applied uh, established by comparing the candidate variety with existing varieties or reference collection that may be distinguished or the distinctness can be distinguished as consistent differences and clear differences if similar state of expression variety should be rejected that means to reject a variety that should be proved under two locations in a single year or two separate years okay here certain criteria is given for selecting variety of similar varieties in the test sources or to selection are may be parent varieties varieties bred from the same parent cross variety sharing the parental lines or series of varieties broadly distributed varieties or well known varieties the clues for selecting these kind of varieties is reference collection image database catalog googling varietal descriptions working references applicant or in application form or information providers along with this marker assisted selection is a very very important test to identify the similarities in varieties the next criteria is uniformity variety shall be deemed to be uniform if subject to the variation that may be expected from the particular features of its propagation it is sufficiently uniform in its relevant characters uniform and subjected to the variation that may be expected and allowed due to specific nature of the protection of crops such as vegetative self or cross pollinated here one thing need to be remembered the notion of uniformity ensures that the variety can be defined as far as it necessary for the purpose of protection the criteria for uniformity does not seek absolute uniformity that means the population standard of 3% and acceptance probability of at least 95% should be applied absolute means 100% uniformity is not required up to 95% is okay uh, here one example is given if 100 plants in a sample uh, size is taken 3 may be of types or 5 may be of types the same should be applied in clear case of outcrossed plants in inbred lines as well as single cross hybrids for visually assigned character the uniformity of the candidate variety is checked against non comparable varieties coming to stability that is the fourth character variety shall be deemed to be stable if its relevant characteristics remain unchanged after repeated propagation or in the case of a particular cycle of propagation at the end of each cycle during maintenance breeding i already talked about the stability concept when we talk about maintaining a variety when we continuously propagate or exploit a single variety over the generations due to the environmental factors it may go for genetic deterioration or it may uh, generally 
change its phenotypic expressible characters also but to keep the varietal performance intact over a period of time we need stability character to a greater extent here if a variety to be called as stable the relevant characters of a variety do not change through the generations stability requires 2 to 3 years to perform a test of stability which leads to the same certainty as the testing of distinctness and homogeneity submitted samples to be homogeneous during the test the material can also be considered to be stable in case of doubt inbred and open pollinated varieties may be testing by growing a further generations or by testing a new seed stock that means dust test is not only limited to two location testing in a single year or two year it may also include number of years testing if the variety is proved very popular or very promising and it is not uh, giving good performance within two location testing all observations on year should be made on the upper well developed year royal horticulture society chart color should be used to distinguish the characters coming to the duration of protection for this uh, i already told you the protection is for 15 and 18 years but here we shall see it in an elaborative way <coughs> when we talk about the field crops or new varieties the initial years of protection is six years and extendable is nine years total 15 years are given for protecting the field crops if trees and vines the initial period of protection is nine and extendable is again nine total 18 years is given for protection if extent variety extent variety means notified for this 15 years from the date of notification is given under the protection there are certain provisions like to safeguard the interest of breeders during the period between filling of the publication of the application for the grant of breeders rights and the grant of that right equitable remuneration from unauthorized use by any person here the understanding is provision protection takes effect only if protection is granted that is if the application is rejected provisional protection will not be available while going to the field or uh, before the dust testing is conducted a question here need to be followed that means i have already told there will be certain questions which are predefined and uh, well developed question here <clears throat> this will be consisting of name of the species applicants name address proposed denomination or uh, breeders reference then uh, information on origin maintenance reproduction type of material state of expression for each of the grouping character most similar varieties and difference of candidate variety from these varieties any condition information which can help to distinguish the variety then resistance to pest and disease or any special conditions required for examining the variety or any other useful information this uh, questionnaire information is given in technical form here like uh, different options will be given if varietal detail is asked there will be options like varieties field corn or varieties popcorn or baby corn maxi corn like that uh, if we found that kind based on the character we can tick in the column given uh, in front of that particular character this is all about question here coming to the plant material for dust testing for different crops different uh, material has to be submitted in uh, amount for maize for varieties and hybrids 3000 grams that means 3 kg of material should be given for dust test or submitted for the dust testing to national gene bank then 1500 or half one and half kg for parental lines if it is hybrid in wheat 3 kg for variety and hybrid rice again 
3 kg for varieties and hybrids and 1500 for parental material then sorghum 1.5 kg for variety and hybrid and half kg if parental lines pearl millet 1000 or 1 kg for varieties and hybrids and half kg of their parental lines half kg means male parent 500 grams and female parent 500 grams coming to the conduct of test to conducting a test number of growing cycles test locations conditions favoring the normal growth and expression observation should not be recorded on plants in border rows additional test for special purpose may be established these are the condition for test there will be test plot design normally um, if we talk about um, maize certain conditions are established like number of rows for inbred and single cross hybrids it is four varieties and other hybrids the number of rows is eight row length may be six meter row to row distance is 75 centimeter plant to plant distance 20 centimeter and number of replications three this uh, set of information is for maize likewise different uh, field crops or any crop is having different conditions like this coming to the number of characters when we talk about dust testing in an individual plant definite number of characters are studied for example in wheat 38 characters 38 characteristics may be including the characters observed during the early stage early plant growing stage or even during the process of germination then during reproductive stage during harvesting or maturity stage maybe physiological maturity or uh, complete maturity then after the post harvest period these are the number of characters which are prescribed for a particular crop in wheat it is 38 rice 62 maize 31 sorghum 33 pearl millet 26 chickpea 20 pigeon pea 21 green gram 24 black gram 21 lentil 13 field pea 20 kidney bean 22 cotton 36 jute 20 then for soybean 22 groundnut 19 indian mustard and uh, currant rye 24 sesame 20 rapeseed or toria 24 then okra or lady's finger 31 brinjal or eggplant 47 safflower 26 cabbage 28 onion 34 sugarcane 27 mango 51 castor 30 linseed 16 then uh, gobi sarso 24 and for rose 61 coming to the decimal code for growing stages for different crops the decimal code will remain same example 00, 0 indicates dry seed 12 indicates two leaves unfolded 14 indicates four leaves unfolded 51 means inflorescence just visible 61 means beginning of anthesis 65 means anthesis halfway 71 code gives caryopsis watery ripe 75 means medium milk 85 soft dough 92 caryopsis hard 93 means caryopsis loosening daytime to understand these codes better i have already uploaded two videos one is on maize dust testing and one is on rice dust testing if you will study the individual character in that video you can understand these codes coming to the years of testing i have already told you tested normally takes two years or two independent similar growing seasons test normally conducted at two test locations coming to the dust testing phase this is very much important the dust testing phase for individual registration type is 15000 for educational institution 20000 and for commercial type 35000 we will talk about the annual fees annual fees for new varieties 
2000 plus 0.2 percent of the sales value of the seeds of registered variety during the previous year plus 1 percent of royalty if any received during the previous year from the sale proceed of seeds uh, of a registered variety for farmers variety it is only 10 rupees annual fees then for extent varieties notified under section 5 of seeds act 1966 it is 2000 rupees for extent variety normal one 2000 plus one percent of sales value so here the extent variety means the variety uh, which is available in india which is notified under section 5 of seeds act 1966 may be a farmer variety or a variety about which there is common knowledge or any other variety which is in public domain okay for that 2000 rupees is the annual fees annual fees shall be determined on the basis of declaration given by the register, registered breeder or agent or license regarding the sales value of the seed of variety registered under the act during the previous years and royalty if any received during the previous year from the sale proceed of seeds of registered variety and verified by the authority. I will give the all fees uh, charges in gist for farm the charges means application uh, submission it is 200 rupees annual fees is 1500 registration certificate charges is 5000 dust testing site visit charges per person per visit is 500 application of benefit sharing is 5000 then notice of opposition is again 1500 Coming to the experimental designs for dust test, as I have already told you, dust test is conducted under strictly under field conditions. For this, the most popular experimental design used is RCB, that is randomized complete block design. Another one is lattice design. Nowadays, alpha lattice design is most popular for this. Then randomized incomplete block design where the number of plots per block is less than the number of varieties and appropriate design when the number of varieties is very large. That means three, three experimental designs are very popular here. One is RCBD, then randomized incomplete block design that is RIBD and the third one is alpha lattice design. Coming to the said schedule for or schedule for receiving seed samples of different crop plants. That means duration for uh, receiving the variety also differs. For rice, December to 15th April. For bread wheat, it is April to 14th August. For maize, sorghum and pearl millet, it is uh, December to 15th March. That means for karif crops, it is December to 15th March for testing then for chickpea it is uh, April to 14th August as you know chickpea is a rabi crop then other uh, karif crops like uh, pigeon pea, green gram, black gram this uh, the test is from December to 15th March that means for our different karif crops the duration is fixed from December to 15th March and then for lentil it is uh, april to 14th august and for field pea it is april to 14th august in kidney bay same thing that is april to 14th august that means for rabi crops april to 14th august is the receiving uh, months for seed samples this i have already discussed but um, in elaborative way here it is given the rice sample to be submitted is 3 kg as i already told if the parental line means 1.5 kg ear heads per panicle should be 100 in case of wheat variety and hybrid should be submitted in 3 kgs 
parental line 1.5 kg and ear heads per panicle 100 in maize again 3 kg 1.5 kg for parental lines sorghum 1.5 and 1.5 for hybrid variety and parental line it is almost 500 grams for parental line that means each parental line should be submitted half kg in green gram and black gram variety and hybrid should be deposited in uh, 1 kg or 1000 grams chickpea 2 kg for desi type and 3 kg for kabuli type field pea 2 kg kidney bean 3 kg lentil 1 kg and cotton 2 kg for variety and hybrid and 1 kg for parent as parental material in other crops like soybean 3 kg groundnut 3 for Spanish and Val Valencia type and 8 kg for Valencia bunch and runner type. In Indian mustard and uh, currant ripe half kg for seed should be deposited for varieties on hybrids and uh, 250 grams of parental material should be deposited. Sesamum again 0.5 that means 500 grams. Rapeseed same 500 grams. Okra 200 grams brinjal it is 150 grams only then cabbage is again sorry that is 15 grams then onion 1 gram then um, onion in vegetative form 1200 bulblets sugar cane 400 single bulb bud sets mango 7 grafts castor 6 kg for variety and hybrids and 2.5 for parental material linseed half kg coming to the dust centers approved by ppvfr authority dust testing centers are the centers at least two centers for each crops are available provisionally decided by the authority to carry the dust test there are several factors to be considered in deciding where the dust testing a test test should be carried out where species can best display its characters where there is least risk of damage maybe by disease insect weather etc where there is breeder success and fully strengthened for dust test in terms of field staff laboratory facilities etc are the considering considerations while submitting the samples by the authority to dust testing centers now we shall talk about different dust testing centers for rice there are four dust testing centers one is indian institute of rice research that is uh, iirr at hyderabad and uh, national rice research institute which is at katak iri karnal au jorhat assam tnau coimbatore for wheat indian institute of wheat research karnal then uh, Indian Agriculture Research Institute at Indore Substation, then uh, CS Aja, uh, CS UAT Kanpur, UAS Dharwad, PAU Ludhiana. That means for rice and wheat, there are five centers. For maize, IIMR New Delhi, Angro, PJTSAU also it is conducted, that is nothing but Angro. Now it is separated and uh, shifted to Andhra Pradesh. Then other two centers are also there for maize, like uh, Almora, Vivekananda Parvati, Anuman Chandan Shala, and uh, IAR in New Delhi. Then for sorghum, for that for that National Research Institute on Sorghum at Hyderabad, MPKV Rahuri, GB Pant University at Pantnagar. For pearl millet, MPKV Rahuri and uh, Indore. Coming to the pulses. For Chickpea, Indian Institute of Pulse Research, Kanpur, CCS, Haryana Agriculture University, Haryana, then PDKV, Akola. For Moong Bean, Mularp, Kanpur, and uh, PJTSOU, Hyderabad. Urd Bean, also same. Field P for this, Mularp, Kanpur, and uh, JNKVV, Jabalpur. Rajma, Mularp, Kanpur. Indian Institute of Vegetable Research, Varnasi and uh, VPKS Almora. For lentils, Mularp Kanpur and uh, JNKVV Jabalpur. Here just remember for field pea and lentil, the centers are same. 
पीजन पी मुलार कानपुर एंड पी डी के वी अकोला कमिंग टू द ऑयल सीड्स फॉर मस्टर्ड इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मस्टर्ड रिसर्च एट भरतपुर देन सी एस आजाद यूनिवर्सिटी कानपुर फॉर ग्राउंडनट जूनागढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड टी एन ए यू कोयम्बतूर फॉर सोयाबीन वी पी के एस अल्मोरा डायरेक्ट्रेट ऑफ सोयाबीन रिसर्च इंदौर एंड यू एस धारवाड़ फॉर सनफ्लावर ऑयल डायरेक्ट्रेट ऑफ ऑयल सी रिसर्च और इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑयल सी रिसर्च हैदराबाद टी एन ए यू कोयम्बतूर सैफ फ्लावर सेम दैट इज इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑयल सी रिसर्च एंड पी डी के वी अकोला कैस्टर ऑल्सो इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ऑयल सी रिसर्च हैदराबाद एंड जे ए यू जामनगर सिजाम एट जबलपुर लिंसिड एट कानपुर एंड जबलपुर फॉर फाइबर क्रॉप्स कॉटन इज एट नागपुर दैट इज सी आई सी आर नागपुर यू एस धारवाड एच ए यू हिस्सार सी आई सी आर कायम्बतूर एंड पी ए यू लुधियाना फॉर जूट क्रिजाफ बरागपुर एंड सी एस आर एस बुडबुड विच इज इन वेस्ट बेंगाल देन फॉर स्पाइस टर्मरिक एट कैलिकट एंड बारापानी जिंजर ऑल्सो सेम फॉर ब्लैक पेपर कैलिकट कोरियांडर अजमेर एंड आनंद स्मॉल कार्डम कैलिकट एंड मेलन टूपुरा फॉर फाइबर फ्रूट क्रॉप्स मैंगो इज फॉर एट लखनऊ बैंगलोर सिंधु दर्ग फॉर ऑर्किड्स एन आर सी ऑन ऑर्किड्स सिक्किम एस एफ आर आई इटानगर एंड के यू ट्रिश्योर फॉर वेजिटेबल्स फॉर टोमैटो यू नीड टू रिमेंबर इज फॉर मेनी वेजिटेबल्स आई आई वी आर वाराणसी एंड आई आई एच आर बेंगलोर आर द बेसिक सेंटर्स फॉर डस्ट टेस्टिंग फॉर कैबेज इट इज आई आई वी आर वाराणसी देन आई आई ए आर आई कत्रेन एंड आई आर आई न्यू डेली फॉर पोटैटो सी पी आर एस शिमला सी पी आर एस मोदीपुरम एंड सी पी आर एस जलंधर ऑनियन डी ओ जी आर पुणे एंड आई आर आई न्यू डेली गार्लिक ऑल्सो सेम पी आई आई वी आर वाराणसी एंड आई आई एच आर हॉट बैंगलोर शुगर केन आई आई एस आर लखनऊ एस बी आई कोयम्बतूर एस बी आई रीजनल सेंटर करनाल एंड एस बी आई रीजनल सेंटर अगाली फॉर मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिक क्रॉप्स फॉर प्लांट एगो डी एम पी आर आनंद गुजरात एंड अदर मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिक प्लांट्स लाइक पुदीना और फील्ड मिंट डमास्क रोज सदाबहार और पेरीविंकल अश्वगंधा ब्राह्मी फॉर दिस सी आई मैप सी मैप लखनऊ इज द डस्ट टेस्टिंग लोकेशन now we are coming to the end of this lecture the types of characters studied for dust testing that may be qualitative or quantitative for qualitative nature which show discrete or distinct state of expression recorded on one dimensional scale from one extreme to other not influenced by environment example yellow coloration stigma in certain rice varieties you may find yellow color stigma and in certain it is absent based on that stigma character only that variety is identified by a particular name if the characters are quantitative recording on one dimensional scale and show continuous variation from one extreme to other that means quantitative characters for show the normality curve of distribution here dividing in numbers of states of expression like stigma length okay if qualitative means based on color aroma or something like that we may distinguish if quantitative means based on its size length and all those things short means less than 1 mm medium is 1 to 2 mm and long is more than 2 mm like special characters in wheat high molecular weight gluten in profiling in maize sugar content in green cobs these are the quantitative characters 
friends the information furnished by me in this lecture will be helpful to you for different competitive exams and it may encourage your knowledge if you like this video please do not forget to hit the like button keep on sharing subscribing and commenting thank you once again